George Foreman was in that documentary, I believe it was made around 1989, would that have been during his retirement period? Yeah, as a matter of fact, I talked to George about that and I said to him, I said, George, I said, you're planning to come back because he'd run out of money and because uh, he had opened up a boys club. And uh, I said, how are you going to do it? I said, don't you, you know, you're going to go up against all these young guys. And he, and he said to me, he said, Dimitri, he said, a, a, a fighter never loses his punch. And he said, all, and he goes, I'm not going to leap around the ring. He goes, I'm just going to walk. And he said, uh, they can run around all they want, but he says, all I need to do is hit them once. And he did. So I guess you weren't surprised then uh, at his uh, world championship victory? Not at all. Because when, you know, George Foreman was one of those guys I met where I shook his hand. And I've got a pretty big hand, I think. Um, but my hand got lost in his hand. It was like I put my hand in the middle of a ham hock. Um, so I, I knew that if that fist came and hit you, uh, well, if you remember watching any of those fights, you know, when he hit somebody, they go flying through uh, the ropes and out into the audience. And so, he would dent the punching bag, too. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> he was a very powerful hitter. Do you think he made more money from boxing, ultimately, or from his grill? The grill, absolutely, hands down. As a matter of fact, my producing partner on this, Rob Hickman, was involved in putting together the George Foreman grill. Wow. Yeah.